Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing part three. Yes, I've decided to go ahead and do a third part uh, of Q&A answers for The Walking Dead Season 5, uh, Episode 1, leading into, of course, uh, Episode 2, From No Sanctuary to Strangers. All right, good stuff. And this will, of course, as always, <laughs> include spoilers if you haven't seen the season premiere yet for The Walking Dead Season 5. So uh, tonight is the uh, second episode for The Walking Dead Season 5, of course. Very excited to see what uh, they can follow up the premiere with. Um, I'm not under the expectation that they're going to bring us something that was that is as exciting as the premiere was. That was pretty incredible, even to this point. Um, I want to watch that probably a couple more times. It's just just amazing, so packed with so many awesome things, and uh, they really went for broke. Uh, as you guys can see this week, uh, I've done quite a few videos releasing a couple every day pretty much, uh, leading up to the second episode. I, I don't intend to do that all season long. Um, had an extra day off this week for Thanksgiving in Canada, so I was able to make a few extra videos, and I love doing it, so uh, lots of things to talk about after the, uh, the premiere. So got a lot of great questions from you guys. These are just the ones I was able to kind of get through, and if you missed my Q and A's I did two last two days in a row. Just some fun stuff. Um, of course, with the amount of videos I'm doing, I don't expect anyone to watch them all. I don't expect anybody to watch, you know, two videos every single day of the week or anything like that. Uh, they're not all just entirely for, you know, for subscribers. I love you guys for subscribing. It's totally awesome. But I do create a lot of videos to just kind of get out there in the engine, and I want to welcome anybody that is a new subscriber to the channel because we. Since about the premiere, there's been a new influx of uh, about uh, maybe three to 5,000, uh, somewhere around that point, depending on how I look at it. So uh, welcome to all of you. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the videos, and I hope you uh, at least uh, you know check out the reviews. If you're not into Q&As or, or whatever, that's fine. These are just kind of some fun little uh, videos we can do in between uh, where I can just answer some random questions from you guys and give my thoughts on some random things. That said, one of the questions I've been getting a ton lately, if you guys missed, I'm sure some did, that is, um, could you do a video giving your thoughts on whether or not you think the walker in um, the premiere uh, at the very beginning with the handcuffs on is Andrea or not. So yeah, so for that one, I answered that in my Things You Missed video, which was Wednesday. I released it, but I did release a couple of videos that day. So if you missed it and you want to hear what I think about that one, there's also pictures in that video of um, the Walker, a comparison between Andrea and her. I do not believe it's the same actress. I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, they also have not alluded to that in any of the behind the scenes or anything like that. But it, it is a pretty cool point out that there is a Walker that looks a lot like Andrea and could potentially be her. Has handcuffs on one hand, has similar attire on, similar belt, similar pants, similar shirt, uh, undershirt anyway, not the coat. We can assume maybe the coat fell off. I mean, zombies are always doing all kinds of stuff. I think, you know, if they're they're always moving. So I, 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 can, I can see the coat coming off. That's not, that for me is not a logic issue. Uh, also, her jaw was kind of busted up, like down. So I would assume if Andrea was right-handed, she put the gun like this, and she shot, shooting herself at the end of season three, boom, it could have gone through the eye socket rather than hitting the um, uh, the brain itself, the, the frontal co cortex, I, I think, um, and, you know, went out this way, you know, somehow like that. Let's say she pulled a little to this side, boom, up there, the top of the brain could still be functioning, uh, motor functions and all that is back here. So she could have turned afterwards, uh, of course, because she was bitten by Milton, if you guys remember. So that's a cool one. Um, he's asking, or these people are asking what I think about that. There's more information, more picture in picture in the video. Uh, at this point, I don't really know what to think. You know, it's possible that it's a coincidence and that it has nothing to do with it and it was just a cool looking walker they designed and they weren't going for that. It's possible it's some kind of, kind of additional uh, Easter egg, you know, that they've thrown in there that a lot of people don't didn't even notice. Um, or it's possible that uh, that's entirely what they were trying to do is make a walker that looks just like Andrea to kind of, you know, just add to the seasons. They've been doing a lot of things like that where they've been tying in previous things, uh, you know, to add to the episodes. And I think it's brilliant. It's a type of thing you see a lot in Breaking Bad um, and other shows like that that are done really, really well. Some of the best stuff they do is they tie in little things with other previous episodes and with the future. 
They like The Walking Dead. They bring in that character of Sam. We see him again in the premiere. You know, just some really brilliant stuff of that kind of in out type mentality. And uh, we've seen in the premiere some more chronological splicing and different things like that. And I love that stuff. Once you figure out, you know, what what everything is and all that, it really is cool. Like just think about when we see Morgan uh, eventually meet up with Rick's group. It'll probably be at a cool time, I would think. Maybe even like a finale or something. I don't think it'll be anytime soon uh, because as mentioned in that video as well too, if you missed it, that uh, there's probably months between when Rick's group is there and when Morgan is there. So if you guys want to know more about that, watch that video if you missed it. Um, I did film that video, by the way, after my previous two days of Q&A, so that's why it might seem a little bit confusing with my answers and the things I'm saying. It's just because the videos that I put them out are not always in the order in which I film them, so things change and I try to I try not overwhelm you. If I do six videos in a day, I'm not going to put out six videos the next day. I'll separate them and do like one or two a day over the course of four or five or six days, depending. So good question, though. That one in particular is from Conderoy, uh, as well as a few other uh, people want to know what my thoughts were on that. So do I I think it's Andrea I want to say yeah I think it is but you know it depends on where their direction is with that aside from that I would say it's just an Easter egg and that's kind of a choose your own destiny type thing is it Andrea for you do you think it makes sense that, that would be Andrea you know they, they've never I, I haven't heard them say yet that it's not Andrea so if you want to think that it is that's your choice you can aside from that I just think it's kind of an Easter egg why would you put the handcuffs on if it's just a random walker why would you focus on the handcuffs right it's too much of a coincidence for it to just be like, um, you know, just some kind of random occurrence. It's, it, they, 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 it looks to me like they specifically did that on purpose. I mean, everything they do in The Walking Dead looks to be on purpose, and, and I don't think they make small mistakes. So the handcuffs to me, uh, you know, the, the, the position of the hole, everything like that, it's a little too convenient, and I like the idea. I think it's either an Easter egg or intentionally supposed to be her. So that's up to you, though. You know, I, I can't say for sure. This is all open to uh, interpretation, speculation, your choice. You know, choose your own destiny type deal. If for you it's like totally no way, the prison's not that far from Terminus. Uh, walking distance. The other characters have walked there. Um, was she buried? Yeah, but zombies can crawl up out of the ground, you know, and they do. They do. I mean, that's there's movies about that. You look at, like, Return of the Living Dead and stuff like that. Go to a graveyard, all these zombies. Now, that's not The Walking Dead, but zombies are known to, you know, we, we saw the mud zombie with um, Megan, the governor's replacement daughter for Penny, uh, come up out of the mud, right? So there's a good example of how a zombie could come up out of the ground, even if it was buried. So, um, Regardless, it's a cool little Easter egg food for thought. And I, I I like the care that they're adding to The Walking Dead. More episodes, they're adding a lot of care, a lot of, uh, you know, new uh, little uh, intricacies, you know, uh, just things that are real Easter eggs and really some nice tie-ins and some nice, really clever um, choices for what they're doing, like the Bub Zombie in, uh, in Season 4, and just all kinds of stuff they've been doing since the beginning of Season 4. Walking Dead's awesome. So anyway, uh, that's as much as I'll talk about the Andrea with the handcuffs thing. Um, it's your choice. I don't think you're right or wrong if you say it is or you say it isn't. I think it's more open to you, open to the viewer, your choice. Uh, me, I kind of want to think that it is. So, But that's just me wanting to. Anyway, uh, going on from there, I've got a couple more questions to cover, so we will. Uh, next one is actually a Breaking Bad question. This one's from Jonathan Brusky. Uh, and he says, a Q&A question, Gus Breaking Bad as a walker due to his badass death. Don't care about timeline or location just as an Easter egg. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, like we were just talking about. Um, you know, the more intricacies they can put in there, the better. I've done videos with my thoughts on the whole theory that Breaking Bad and The Walking Dead are in the same universe. If you guys haven't checked those out, they're in the channel. Use the search tool, type in Breaking Bad, Walking Dead, same universe. You'll find my videos on it. And... Um, I think it's a great idea. The more little cool tie-ins, but the way they do it is really smart, where if you're an average viewer, you won't catch these things. You know, you won't see it. It's only for people like us that love the series that are kind of your um, really intelligent about the series, people that are really invested, really pay attention to things in the series, maybe watch episodes a couple times. You know, we catch little things like that. So I think they should do it, just like they did with Bub. Do it in a way where if you don't know who Gus is, if you don't know who, what Breaking Bad is, he's just a random walker. Just in the middle of maybe a herd or something, you know, have it zoom in on him real quick, half the face or something. That would be just too 
sick. And you got to imagine, too, that maybe Gus got high in his own supply at least once from what Walt is making. He had to have known what Walt was making in the crystal blue persuasion there. Uh, you know, as some people theorize, maybe that's what started the outbreak. Maybe that's uh, <laughs> Walter White's, uh, you know, uh, leftover gift, so to speak, to humanity. I don't know. Final F you to everybody. So I don't know, but I think it's a great idea. I like the more Breaking Bad tie-ins, Bill Heisenberg and all the stuff they've done in the past, the more the better. So yeah, I definitely would like that. Next question is from Glow Sparks. I'm assuming it's a female. It could be a guy, though. Um, this question is for your weekly Q&A. How many termites do you think survived the Terminus battle and have joined Gareth to hunt down Rick's group? Okay, this is a fantastic question. So, at the end of Season 4, we saw that he had more than a dozen, maybe close to like 20, 20 people, roughly. is that That's about accurate, I'd say, based on the people that were on the roofs, based on the people that were painting the signs and doing different things like that. Um, and at the fence at the end there with the guns when they got them to go into the train car. Um, so, I want to say, if there was 20 to start with, Rick killed five, right? Tyrese killed one. Um, then we have, wait, no, Rick killed more than that because Rick killed the, okay, let's say Rick and Daryl killed the first two guys. I think it was Rick and Daryl or maybe Rick killed them both. I don't remember. But anyway, regardless, um, Rick kills two, then he kills five. So that's seven. We have Carol that kills two or three. Yeah, something like that. Maybe more with the explosions. So I would say that Gareth would probably have somewhere in the neighborhood of about five to eight fighters left. That's my estimate. Because I say he's around 20 to start, Rick got about seven, Carol got about, let's say, five or so. Um, the, others got a, the others got a few mixed in there in between. All in all, let's say he's got about five to eight guys left. That's my estimate. That's what I would say makes sense. However, you never know because it's possible not all of the termites were there when the attack happened. It's possible some others could have been outside going to get supplies or looking for stuff or setting up signs or who knows. So there could be any amount, but I would say it's probably about, uh, uh, let's go with seven. Let's go with seven. I think that makes sense uh, as a prediction. Great question though. Next one's from Mr. Uh, Enomorph or, or Mr. Xenomorph. Sorry, one, two, three. I should already know that because I love aliens and Predator and stuff. It says, I have a video idea. Since Carol was the one to start the whole Terminus chaos and she actually killed Mary, do you think the termites may uh, be mainly pissed off at Carol now and may actually want to get her for what she did? This really concerns me after the battle. Um, man, great, great comment, great question, great thought for a storyline and where they may be going with this. Absolutely they would be and well, would they know for sure that it's her who attacked? <sighs> they might though because Okay, they saw, Gareth saw them running away and knew Rick was firing back at him and that they all got away. He knew that they all got away. He knew, he knew which of them they had captured. He at least saw them once. So she would be one where he would not have directly seen her, I don't think, or he wouldn't have known it to be her. It's kind of a she wasn't captured type deal. She wasn't, she was another one. She was an outsider. So if Gareth gets a vantage point to see the people that are in Rick's group, he's going to immediately look at Tyrese, at Carol, maybe Father Gabriel if he's a part of the group. And them because he he wouldn't have he wouldn't have seen them at terminus so he would have to assume that they would have been the ones to help rescue the rest of the group now could they do something like uh, carol possibly being one of the ones that gets captured uh maybe her being killed off we've seen a lot of scenes with her and daryl at different cityscapes and her in some different things like that from the previews so i tend to think carol won't get killed at least anytime soon I hope she doesn't get killed off at all now after how awesome she was in, in the premiere and everything. I really want to see her survive for a long time. Um, but anytime you see a character get a forefront position in the Walking Dead series like Herschel with internment last season, that always, I think, kind of raises the possibility that they may be killed off soon because 
sometimes they'll kind of set it up or they'll kind of have a tribute episode or something like that before they kill off a character. And Carol is not really a comic book series character. They've, there's a character from the comic book series named Carol, but it's not the same character, not even remotely close, like nothing like her at all. It doesn't look like her, doesn't act like her, nothing like her. Um, so she's basically a new character. So she could fill the role of Dale. Somebody's got to from the comic books this season. Uh, either her, or Bob. I don't know. There's there's other possibilities as well too. But she's definitely one of the ones that um, yeah that, that could fill that. That makes sense after she she killed Mary because if you guys don't know, they mentioned on Talking Dead that Mary is Garrus' mom and Alex was Garrus' brother. Um, so it was kind of like a family thing at Terminus, which is kind of weird. So if you kill the dude's mom and he has any idea that maybe you were the one that did it, yeah, he's probably going to be pissed. I mean, his brother, it didn't seem like he liked his brother very much. It seemed like his, his brother was pretty annoying and just stupid and he didn't have much respect for him. But that we might see something like that going forward. I hope we don't, but it would make sense if we did. And uh, last question for this week's uh, Q and A's. I'll probably do a couple more next week since uh, this week was really good. Got to make uh, quite a few videos. Had a lot of fun. And uh, next week we'll probably do at least one or two Q and A's. With, last one will be from a world of magic. And uh, here she asks, "Hi Trev, just a discussion topic. Do you think Tyrese got bit or scratched?" My answer is no. I don't think so. I believe we're under the in, the impression that Tyrese, uh, with his bare hands, smashed up a few walkers then open the door at the perfect time and uh, double leg take down the scumbag from terminus and then beat him to death or at least beat him to the point where he left him to turn is it possible that guy's still alive well it's possible anytime you see something off camera but i think it's supposed to mean that the guy was beaten to death and that he's been left to turn that's what i think uh, and he just didn't want anybody to see what uh, what he had done because he's still kind of you know, kind of um, dealing with that whole uh, morality part of it. So, uh, yeah, that's it for the Q&As for this week, guys. I want to thank everybody that submitted questions. If I didn't get to your question, if I didn't answer it, uh, all I can say is I apologize. I try to get to as many as I can. As you can see, the amount of videos I did this week, I did the best I could. Um, but, yeah, there was tons of questions. And really, a lot of it comes down to just the right timing. If I'm making my list and your question is in my private mailbox or in the comments, then I may have the opportunity to add it, even if you have the best question in the world. If you ask it at the wrong time when I'm not making my list, then I might not get to it. I might not be able to answer it in the video because the video could already be done or on its way to being produced. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about all the videos this week. Um, you know, I, I really want to say thank you to all of you guys especially new people for subscribing and, and people that have been with me for a while just for sticking with me. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the second episode tonight. Of course, review will be posted afterwards, predictions video, and I may even do a top five again, top five best moments, if it's like one of those bananas awesome episodes. But we'll have to see it. I have to see it first and see how it goes. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much all i got to say for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed them. If you missed any of them and you got some time today, feel free to watch some of the other Q&As or some of the other videos if you missed them in the channel. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much uh, all i got for this one, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you liked the video, please thumb it up below. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. And I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. As always, it's Trev. And I'm saying peace. Peace.